Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about how to create a loop or also infinite loop in code barrier uh, for assembly language. If you need to know how to install the program or you, if you want to uh, learn about uh, some information about assembly language, I am posting some videos about uh, basic instruction and how to work with the program so make sure to go ahead to my channel and watch the other videos I posted uh, I can help you and if you think it's actually helpful you can uh, share them with other students or other people so they can use this uh, these information as well uh, to go ahead and do the our loop I actually wrote down the very small uh, code here uh, which basically is going to load number two, then it's going to add number one to the two, and then it's going to store it at this place. Uh, don't worry about this. This is extra. Uh, so uh, to make a loop, first thing you're going to do, for example, I want to make an infinite loop in this thing. Uh, I'm going to write down here a loop. doesn't matter what name you're going to uh, call that loop. It can be loop for example number one or you can uh just type out type out anything you want it uh just make sure that uh you put this here and then uh wherever you want to at the end of your program you want to loop back to this point uh in order to do that you have to use instruction of bra which means branch and you're gonna then write down the exact name that you wrote down at this point. If even a single caps lock can actually change the answer. So be careful about uh, what you actually uh, writing down. Uh, let me just copy this and then here, let's copy it and then paste it here. Then we're gonna go to our uh, debugging part of the program. So it's actually, there's an error in it. Uh, oh, uh, I wrote down the code wrong. That's a D A. So that's that's instruction for add. So again, this is the good thing about the debugging that if you have any uh, issues in your code, it's gonna actually tell you, and you can go ahead and fix it. So I'm gonna just uh, go ahead single step so you can actually see it. So if you see here, we have uh, loaded the two. Then we add in the added value of the one to the uh, accumulator A. Then we're going to store it in ST1. So since I am branching back to the location of uh, this loop, which whatever we call it, and then we step, we step back here, uh, it's going to go back and it's going to uh, do it infinite times because if you see here, it's gonna, there is no end to it. So if you running this thing, uh, it never is going to stop. Uh, so you can use this in different ways. Sometimes you have, you want to jump some part of their code and you have like BRA and you call it, for example, exit and you put the exit here and uh, yeah, and then you put this here. So then the exit is going to be here and you can have, for example, L D A B for example. Uh, number four. So uh, if you do that, when you go to your debugging code and you run in your code, if you have BRA at this point, it's gonna skip this part of your code. This is really helpful when you're using if a statement. Uh, when you learn about if, if a statement or if it's like, uh, if it's same or equal, uh, which I'm going to talk about it all in the future, that's really helpful to know that how to do a, a branch instruction. So that's it for this video. If you have any question, feel free to uh, comment uh, your question in the comment section. I'm, uh, I'm going to answer those questions as soon as I can. Make sure to like and comment my videos and share it if you like it. And that's it.